Hello there, panda bears, and welcome back to another mini lesson. Today, our focus is going to be on the letter B. Good. All right, what sound does the letter B make? B, B, B. Again. B, B, B. One more time. B, B, B. Take your air finger. Let's create a capital or big uppercase B. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice, one more time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So that's the capital or uppercase B. Now let's practice the little or lowercase B. It's a line straight down, whoop, and then a circle. Whoop. Very good. Try it one more time. Whoop and whoop. All right, panda bears, please point to the lowercase or little b. Good. It's right there. Now point to the capital or the big B. Right there. Fantastic. One more time. What sound does the letter B make? B, B, B. Good. B, B, B. And B, do you know what number in the alphabet B is? Two. It's the second letter in the alphabet. A, B, C. Good. There's 26 letters all together and B is the second. All right. Let's take a look more about B. It's our letter B poetry. We have a picture. Here, I'll put a little bit closer. What is this a picture of? It's a picture of a boy, yes. And what is he doing? It looks like it's a giant, like, bubble gum, right? It does. It's like he's blowing a really, really, really big piece of bubble gum. Our sentence says, I'll put it right up here. So we know it's a boy and he's bubble gum. Ooh, bubble gum starts with B. Boy starts with B. Hmm, I wonder what this sentence says. All right, I want you to listen to it first, please. Say, or listen. Bobby blows bubbles as big as can be. B, B, B. Bigger, bigger. Boom! Yeah, I know, it's so silly. Here we go, repeat after me. Say, Bobby blows bubbles. Your turn. Good. As big as can be. Nice. B, B, B. Bigger, bigger, boom. Nice, nice booms. Did you see that the author used all capital letters right there for boom? That means they want you to say it loud and with lots of excitement. And there's also two exclamation points, the line straight down with the dot. Yes, this is a very, very exciting little poem here. Let's read it together one more time. Ready? Set, go. Bobby blows bubbles as big as can be. B, B, B. Bigger, bigger, boom. Yes, his bubble must have popped, right? It's probably really, really sticky with that bubble gum too. Okay, now let's take a look. We have our capital B and our lowercase b up here. And again, what sound does b make? B, 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 good job. Let's count and see how many big b's. Remember we did this with the letter a. What I do with my marker? Oh, there it is. With the letter a, we counted how many capitals and how many lowercase, right? So let me put a big b right here with their equal sign. And then over here, I'm going to practice my little b. You can practice too. Practice with your air finger and the equal sign. 
so we can count and see how many big bees and how many little bees there are. Let's count the big bees first. Okay, here we go. Please count with me. One, two, three, four. How many? Show me. Four big bees. One, two, three, four. So you can take your magic air finger and practice the four just like that. So big bee, we have four. Now, I wonder if we're going to have more smaller bees or less smaller bees. What do you think? Raise your paw, raise your panda paw if you think we're going to have more little bees. I think we're gonna have more. Raise your panda paw if you think we're gonna have less, fewer. Okay, good. So let's count to find out the answer. Here we go, let's count those little bees, ready? One, two, three, four, five, we already have more, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen! Now how do we make the number thirteen? A one, whoop, and a three. So what number is bigger? Is 13 bigger or is four bigger? Shout it out. What number is bigger? You're right, 13 is bigger. Four is smaller. Four comes before 13. Good job. Nice job with your math and counting and practicing the letter B. B, B, B. Okay, so let's take down our letter B poem. We'll put it right over here and let's practice some more words that start with the letter B. All right, and we'll practice our clapping our syllables. What's this? Good baby. So put baby up here. If we're just saying it, we're saying baby, but if we break it up into syllables, we say baby. 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 You try it. One more time. All together, baby. Good job, and how many letters are in baby? Four, B-A-B-Y, baby. All right, our next letter B vocabulary word is ball, ball. All right, let's clap it out. Ball, <laughs> ball. Good job, your turn. One more time. And all together, ball. So we have baby and ball. Okay, let's look at our next one. What is this? Oh, yummy, delicious. Banana. All right. Lots of A's and lots of N's in that word, but what letter does it start with? B, 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 banana. So here we go, banana, again, banana. Your turn. Say it. All together, banana. Good, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six letters in the word banana. Good job. Our next Vocabulary word is, oh, I love these butterflies. It's a pretty, what color butterfly is it? Yeah, blue butterfly. All right, so we have butterfly, 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 butterfly. You try it. Again. All together, butterfly, butterfly. Great job. All right, so again, our four focus vocabulary words for the letter B are butterfly, 
ball, baby, and banana. And they all start with the letter B and make the B, B, B sound. Great job. Okay, it is time to get out our letter B practice worksheet letter practice. So go ahead and take it out if you haven't done so already. I cannot wait to form letter B. It is my very favorite letter, probably because my name starts with B and bear cub starts with B, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna practice my name. So remember, if you want help practicing tracing over your name, have your grown up write your name first in yellow so you can practice tracing over it. And remember, it's very important when you get your paper that you write your name on it first so we know who it belongs to. Good job. And I think I'm gonna trace my name in blue because blue starts with the letter B. So I'm gonna do my B, trace over the yellow right there, and ta-da. Good job. So you can go ahead and complete writing your name and then just like I did with the letter A, I'm going to get five colors out so I can do rainbow tracing. So you can get your colors out too and start on your rainbow tracing. And remember, you can do more than five, but we wanna do at least five. Okay, so go ahead and start on your capital B. And this time, I think I'm just gonna do my capital B first, like all my capital Bs. And then wait to do my lowercase. So I'm gonna use different colors. And remember the goal is, is to stay as close as we can on those dotted lines. So we get used to forming that letter. B, B, B. Lots of things started to be. Barbies. Bagels, oh, I love bagels. So delicious with yummy cream cheese, buttons, bags. My very favorite, beach. I love the beach. Can think of, can you guys think of some things that start with the letter B? Ba, ba, ba. Bologna, like bologna sandwich. Barn. Bakery, lots of things start with the letter B. Bus, all right, so we have, oh, I forgot, something else starts with B. What is that a picture of right there that we're going to color? Yes, bird, bird, bird starts with B. So you can choose whatever colors you want to color the bird. I think I'm gonna give my bird, mm, no, I think orange. At first I was going to use yellow, but I wanna give him a little orange beak. And remember, you can use whatever colors you want. Do some orange down here. There's a little orange right there. And I'm also gonna color him blue. I'm gonna make him a blue bird. So I'm gonna do my very best coloring and remember, it's nice to use a couple colors usually when you're coloring a picture. You don't wanna just scribble scrabble and color it with one color. It's good to use like two or three different colors and to take your time and do your best, best work. And I'm gonna give him a green face. <laughs> He's a colorful bird. And we'll color that. So again, you can choose whatever colors you want to create your bird. Okay, now it's time to practice the letters. I'm gonna use pink, I think, because it's my favorite color. I'm going to practice that capital B. So we can do a line down and just trace over the dashes. Do one bump and two bumps for my capital B. And we're gonna try it again. Remember, we're gonna do it like two or three times on each slide. Okay, 
capital B. Remember, it's for practice. And grown-ups, you can also use the yellow here. So if you need a little bit more guidance at first, you can do it in yellow grown-ups across and then have your panda trace over. So I traced over that one and I mixed the yellow and the pink so it looks kind of orange, that B. It's pretty cool. So I practice my B and then just like how we did with apple, I thought that was pretty cool. We can practice writing what it is up there, which is a bird, like we said. So bird, we're gonna write it in all capitals first. I'll write it down here. B, I, R, D. So how many letters are in bird? One, two, three, four, four letters. What's the first letter? Yep, our letter, B. So I think I'll use, hmm, what color haven't I used yet? I think I'll use gray. And I'm gonna write bird all in capitals right here. B, I, R, D. So on that line, I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. Just like that, there we go. Okay, now the same thing with the lowercase b. So remember, you can use the same colors or different colors, and you want to, it gives you the sample right here to practice. And then I want you to try three more times by yourself. Remember lowercase b, you're gonna do a line straight down and a circle to the side, a circle to the right. Here we go, one more, laying down. This. And remember, it's okay if you go outside of the line. This is just a practice, practice, practice. Do your very best work. And then we're gonna erase this because we're going to write bird again, but using all lowercase letters. So it's the same four letters, of course. B, I, lowercase i, lowercase r, and lowercase d. Bird, bird. I'm gonna use, ooh, my brown marker because brown also starts with the letter B. We thought of so many different things that start with the letter B. And I bet even after this video, you'll think of a lot more, like balloon. So we're gonna practice bird. B, I, R, D. And there we go. All right, and you can take some time finishing up your worksheet, practicing your capital Bs and lowercase Bs. And again, if you would rather practice writing your letter more, you can use both lines to do capitals. You don't have to write the bird. That's just for, for fun. So you can try that, or you can just practice lots of Bs on all the lines there. And then on the back, if you want to, you can draw a picture of one of our objects one of our um, little cards, something that starts with the letter B, or you can practice doing more capital and lower case Bs, okay? So friends, I will leave you to finish the rest of your worksheet on your own. Thank you so much for learning and writing along with me today, practicing the second letter in the alphabet, the letter B, B, B. All right, once again, thanks so much and have a great day, pandas. Bye.